What's going on, Buff Nation? Welcome back to another video. So, it's day after Christmas, okay? Feeling a little bit better. You guys tuned in yesterday. I was obviously a little bit off the rocker, okay? Feeling a little extra boozy on Christmas Day, but we're dialed in. And Coach Prime, of course, decided to give us a little, little day after present. A little bit of tweet, a little bit of maybe insight of where the, the Buffs could be headed to close out this transfer portal run. He tweeted, dang, I see Portal doing the bank head bounce. Just when I thought Santa was on his way back to the North Pole, he dipped off. Santa, please drop another defensive tackle, cornerback, linebacker, and one more pass rusher to Boulder. I believe, Santa. I believe. Now, I don't think Coach Prime just tweets this out there just because he just believes, right? I think it's because he knows what's coming. <laughs> we coming. You know what I'm saying? Of what's headed to Boulder, Colorado. Now, let's talk about a few names of what could be leaning that direction. As for defensive tackle, Chris McKellen was a big name here. He was also part of that list. He's the last one up that list that hasn't committed. Mike Lockhart was the only one that did not commit from that list to Colorado. He committed to SMU. Everyone else, except Chris McKellen, who's from Florida, has committed. Now, Chris McKellen is down to Oklahoma and Arkansas, and maybe Colorado's in the mix as well, too, because the percentages for Oklahoma and Arkansas aren't there. I personally believe Chris McKellen's not going to go to Colorado. My reason for it is the defensive scheme. The defensive scheme that Charles Kelly run, Alabama, you know, a similar scheme to Alabama, Georgia, and that SEC type of defense where it's more of a, a unit defense. Uh, I, look, Chris McKellen left Florida for a certain reason. I don't believe that fits his 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 way of playing. I could be way off here, okay? I'm just, based on the fact that he's been there and, and following the formula that everyone else that's visited has either committed or gone elsewhere, he hasn't made that decision yet. And I also have a few names on the board that are leaning towards Colorado, which could lead me to believe that they're going to take the spot is my reason why I don't believe Chris McKellen ends up committing to Colorado. But a name that is starting to surface, that has surfaced uh, as of late here, is Nick uh, Scorton, who is expected to enter into the transfer portal, and he was the Big Ten sack leader. And we saw what Coach Prime has been done thus far from the Big Ten out of Indiana. He's been plucking those guys left and right over there. He's expected to enter into the portal sometime today or tomorrow. His connection to Colorado is their strength and conditioning coach. He was once a strength and conditioning coach at Purdue when Scorton was a freshman. Now, is that a strong tie? No, but it's a tie nonetheless that a big time edge rusher. We get this tweet today that we're look he's looking for an edge rusher, and then this news drops very shortly after, or right around the same time that that does. And then obviously, you know, we're trying to connect the dots here to see if this could be a possibility because he hasn't entered in yet, so nobody knows if he's had any visits. Any conversation that would have happened right now would be behind closed doors, so nobody would truly actually know. So. One definitely to keep an eye on there. If they're able to land this, my goodness, this defensive line just became absolutely explosive. The, the additions that they have gone and added to the transfer portal is absolutely insane. So, again, keep your eyes out on Nick Scorton. He is a 6'4", 280, was a four-star coming out of high school just a year ago or two years ago. So, would be a big-time pickup, has two years of eligibility left. This would be a huge one if Coach Prime was able to pull this one off and a really big move into the right direction. And also, what kind of I would believe, probably not, but silence the haters a little bit on he's not building for depth. He's not building for a long time, which we've got a video coming out about that. I've got another just a bone to pick with the, the future of Colorado and Coach Prime leaving. It's nonsense. It's just absolute mayhem here, and we've, we've got to address it. And next for defensive line, who I have my eye on, which again is more of a reach than an actual factual possibility would be Malcolm Ray out of Florida State. Just landed DJ Lundy from Florida State. Has a great pick of the litter out of Florida State at Pierce sometimes. Three-star uh, defensive lineman. Redshirt junior. Has some eligibility left. Keep an eye out for this one again. I'm more so just kind of putting some ties together. Coach Prime has been scooping players out of school, like I said, instead of just plucking. He's been scooping kind of you know two to three players from the same school to help bring that chemistry along. So, this is just one of many that are available on the defensive line because obviously we're expecting one to happen. So this could be a big one here. Keep your eyes peeled for this one. There fills in that defensive line. So again, we'll go back to his tweet. Looked at linebacker, which we don't have a linebacker name. I look, took a look. There's a lot of linebacker options. So honestly, could be a pick of the litter for him. And I do believe some more guys will be entering to the transfer portal this upcoming week. So keep your eyes peeled for that as well. Cornerback. I feel like if he he can kind of he's got to pick at the litter of cornerback. If you're a cornerback and Coach Prime comes to knock on your door, how do you not take a look? So we don't know on that one yet. But defensive line and edge, obviously, we just talked about. So there's two of the four positions that he tweeted out about that they're looking to get. And again, I think they only have maybe three spots left, three or four left 
on the scholarship roster until they hit the 85 max, and then things probably will settle down for a little bit. Again, we have a one more signing day for that 2024 class, so we could see a potential sign or, signee or two if somebody were to enter into the portal as it gets a little bit closer to the end there. Again, it just depends on how Coach Prime is navigating his way through this. But let's keep our eyes peeled for Clay Patterson, Nick Scorton from Purdue. Again, Chris McKellen on that list. Definitely somebody to keep your eyes peeled for and to keep an eye on. Just based on what I know from Chris and what I know about these, these defensive schemes and the reason he left Florida, that is my reason to believe he doesn't go to Colorado. Nothing negative, just look, not going to fit what I want to do, what I'm trying to accomplish. Oklahoma and Arkansas could be more down that lane. So, again... I, I expect things to continue to keep rocking and rolling here. Again, Coach Prime doesn't tweet that out unless he feels a certain, a, some kind of way that something's going to land. So I expect it to land. I expect it to heat up. Obviously, we've got a few of the recruiting guys tweeting eyeballs out once again. So when we see those, typically it's only a matter of time before we land another one. So could it be later tonight? Could it be tomorrow? All I know is we'll be ready for whichever, however it does happen. So be sure to turn the bell on. Like and subscribe. We're on the way to 7,000 subs. Mean a lot if you help us get there. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.